following a developing story from the Spring Branch area. A 14-year-old girl in the hospital after she was shot last night. Police tell us it happened during a drive-by shooting at an apartment complex, and that teen was hit by a stray bullet. Now a reward is being offered to help find the gunman. This happened at a complex on Westview Drive near Gessner, and now the manager of that complex is speaking only to KPRC2. KPRC2's Devin Clark is there live with the very latest. Devin. Keith, the property supervisor tells me that that 14-year-old girl who was shot lives near the intended target, but we saw bullets had ripped through multiple units, including the one she's in. Now he's working to get her justice and keep the entire community safe. We can't control the street, you know? I mean, HPD can't control the street. We certainly can't. With violence running rampant throughout our city, Westview Forest Property Supervisor Jack Yativ says he's made serious efforts to protect his gated community from criminal activity. We have two courtesy officers that walk in every night. We've got 45 cameras. We've got, you know, we check people. You wouldn't believe how we check people before we move them in, right? But despite all of those efforts, this happened. Houston police say it was a drive-by shooting from Conrad Sauer Drive outside the complex that sent gunfire blasting through Building 14, striking a 14-year-old girl who was in bed sleeping in one of the units. Now, Yativ is helping investigators track down the shooter. We're offering $1,000, but we're also going to highlight to the residents it's a dangerous world. We're very proud that they were not able to come onto the property, but we also are showing you that without being on the property, they can still do a lot of damage. Yativ says another resident showed him home surveillance footage from about a week ago that he believes shows last night's shooter committing another drive-by here. When it comes to violence, he's urging all residents who see something to say something immediately. In this case, had the lady talked to us, we could have probably avoided it. Yativ says that he has relocated the person he believes is the intended target. Activist Quan LX says he's going to match Yativ's reward for $1,000, leading to information of an arrest in this case. Meanwhile, that 14-year-old girl who was shot, we understand that she underwent surgery and is expected to make a full recovery. Reporting live in Spring Branch, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News.